Uh, oh, it does sound comical. <laughs> That's a whopping seven frames a second and the buffer fills up in about ten photos. This is... <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video. Someone was using their, their uh, Nikon D800. This used to be my favorite camera. I love the quality. For me, photos are all about color and character. And I forgot Looking at the, the, that stuff, I forgot how much I love the Nikon color. I've also gotten used to shooting Canon with an EVF and you review your photo real quick to check it. It's in the back. Well, this is a DSLR and it doesn't do that. You have to actually look at the back. I'm not set in auto anything, so all the photos that I miss are because of my own stupidity. No, it's because I haven't used one of these in a long time. So if I get one or two today, man, I'm happy. And James is laughing because that click, 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 click. It's funny. <laughs> Get choked up there at the tenth photo. <laughs> Seven, man. <laughs> Seven, Seven frames a second. You can hear it slow down. But this is an amazing camera. So as long as I get one or two, I'm still happy. The color on this thing is amazing. Again, oh, and the lens that I'm using. This is my favorite lens of all time. This is a 300 millimeter f2.8 lens it's the sharpest lens i have ever used so as long as i'm adjusting my shutter speed and uh, my iso is set to fit to 250 i'm not going to set it in auto can't go over about 400 with the iso on this or the, the photos get really noisy it's old tech man this came out in i think 2012. still an osprey sitting in the tree over there waiting and waiting The lake looks like glass. I'm not going to lay down on this. It's too oh, nasty. Oh, there. There. If I get something, I'm happy. <laughs> I have to control everything and watch the settings to make sure that I'm not blown out or I'm not too dark. Eh, let's just have some fun. Let's keep shooting. Oh, did you get it? The other thing about this is my settings are backwards. I'm used to my, my, my shutter speed that I want is on the back here, not up front like it is on my Canon. So it's a little bit different. I, I just kept pushing my, my aperture instead of my shutter. I'll, I better look out this way. I'm going to turn this camera off for a little bit or I'll let, maybe I'll let it roll. <clears throat> All right, that time I think my settings were correct, but I won't know until I get into the computer later. I should be able to pull at least one or two out. I think I was shooting at a shutter speed of 3000, a 5.6, and an ISO of 250. That gives me something to play with. The beauty of this lens is I can get my, my aperture down low to let in more light on days like now.
The other bad thing is I can't just hold down my shutter speed with an infinite buffer like with uh, the R5. The R7, it, it does buffer, but not like this. I get a whopping seven frames a six second. Click, 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 click. And it's awesome. And it buffers after about seven photos. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm buffered. <laughs> Got him down. Yep. Oh, dragonflies too. Already just standing here, I'm having such an absolute blast. Um, again, all this is supposed to be fun. A lot of people buy a camera and they want to take amazing photos, but if you don't know how to take a photo, if you don't know how to control all your, your aspects of a camera, the new ones do all that for you, I think you're missing kind of some of the experience. These DSLRs are challenging. This one is very old. It doesn't have any of that stuff except autofocus. It's a lot of fun. And depending on what I get today, I'm thinking that I might rent a lens that I never ever tried, uh, which is Nikon's 200 to 500, I think it is. I never ever tried that. I would like to, and uh, that might be my next weekend's lens. I don't know. For right now, I'm gonna keep shooting. You know, if you're really daring, you can climb all the way out there. <laughs> well, that's it, man. Nikon D800, a very old camera, and it's awesome with a very old 300 millimeter f2.8. It's ungodly heavy. You, you can probably hear the glass moving as it focuses. It focuses extremely fast. You don't have the auto um, auto tracking that you have with the other cameras. I don't have the EVF that I can look through to review my photos to make sure that I'm that my exposure is correct. But what I am enjoying about it is as I'm looking up into the sky to track something, I'm just easily instantly finding it. I don't quite get that with uh, an EVF so it, it has its advantages I have to watch every single one of my settings as I'm going through it to make sure that I'm getting what I want but I won't know that until I get home you will have already seen the photos that I thought were decent I can't get one of my super tracking in flight with this whole thing at seven frames a second that buffer fills up in about a second <laughs> but man it sure was fun Johnny Pink thank you thank you Thank you for letting me share with you guys. You guys have a fantastic day out there. Whatever it is you're gonna do, I'm gonna go collect James and we're gonna head back to the car and we'll see you guys out there. From the Sepulveda Basin Wildlife Reserve, I think next weekend might be another DSLR day with um, the Nikon D750, but I'm gonna rent um, a lens for that. We'll see you guys. Oh yeah, if anyone is interested, when I did my, my video lens comparison, the one that got the most votes as being the sharpest with on the R7 was my old EF that I'm film, filming on right now. My EF 15 to 40, it's an F4, as the sharpest lens paired up with the R7. The second one that got the sharpest was the 90D that I'm filming on right now and uh, the same EF lens. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you.